Hello there, welcome back to my channel. I am Leo Bors and we are going to uh, continue our gameplay of the excavation of Hobbs Barrow. But before we continue, I wanted to remind you that please, uh, if you like the content, smash that like button down there and consider subscribing to the channel. I upload a wide variety of uh, games and genres and even tabletop RPGs so I'm sure that we will see here something for you. Also, I have a Twitch channel and it's uh, on the road to affiliate. So if you could go to the link down below and hit me with a follow there, that would be really appreciated. And of course, I'd love to have you there when I'm live to chat, chill, lurk or whatever you like. And with all that out of the way, let's dive right in into the game. So, uh, last episode, we managed to grab Thomasina's stuff from her crate and uh, we secured the help of a little girl that claims to know where is the Hobbs Barrow and she offered uh, to take us there in exchange uh, uh, of the return of her uh, precious doll myrtle so let's go if i can remember where the hell was that little back okay i think it's this way oh yeah hey girl here is your doll i present to you myrtle I missed you so much! Now, I believe we had a deal. Hide and seek! No, oh, what? Come back! That, that wasn't the deal! It's in moments like these I thank myself for not having children. Of course. Jane? Jane must be hiding in there, the little scamp. Jane, get out of there. Don't make me come in. Fine. Curses. The hole is too small for me to fit through. That was, I was thinking. Curses. I can dig it up. <laughs> I was always happiest with a trowel in my hand. Uncovering hidden worlds within the earth itself, clod by clod. That should do it. Jane! Jane, come out this instant! I can't see a damned thing in here. I need a light source. That's what I was thinking. And I have an empty lantern. I need paraffin to fuel my lantern. All right. Let's get back. <laughs> okay, where I could get... Uh, fuel in town there's not a general store here well there's a cobbler shop but that's the nearest thing to a store that, uh, that I feel hmm no one here well uh, let's ask well the good barkeep should know where I can buy some paraffin can I please have a new candle for my room? I'll go upstairs and replace it this evening. Can I have one now? It's not dark yet, Miss Bateman. I never mind. Goodbye. See you soon. Okay, I want... I have nothing else. 
some paraffin can't be that complicated to get good day yes I was wondering if you might be able to spare some lantern oil I don't have much to spare lass paraffin is as rare as hen's teeth in these parts how much coin do you have none I'm afraid if you're in a bind I can trade you a small amount a trade you say aye what can I trade you for some lantern oil? Surprise me. Oh, I know. I know. I know what we are going to trade you, good man. You have a liking for fossils, and I know where I can find a fossil. And I have a trusty chisel. which will allow me to procure said fossil. Let's take the chisel out and get this. Splendid. I've managed to extract it in one piece. Okay, now we are going back to town. Hello, good sir. I have a fossil for you. Would you trade some of your paraffin for this fossilized ammonite, Mr. Crozier? Now then, it is a beauty that looks familiar. I'll take it off your hands. Wonderful. Let me fetch some paraffin from inside. There you are. Thank you, Mr. Crozier. Okay. So, we just fill the lantern. My lantern is fueled and ready for action. And now we're going to find that little girl. Right, let's put this lantern to good use. Okay, now we are talking. Inter interrupted the dialogue. Man, this is a deep hole. What? But goodness me! Where is the girl? Jane, How? silly, what are you doing in that smelly old badger's hole? You were in there. No, I weren't. Yes, you were. Not true. I was hiding behind that tree over there. I got bored of waiting for you. So where can I find Hobbs Barrow? Go north from the church graveyard, up the hill. You'll see some muddy fields on the horizon. That's Mr. Bryden's farm. Hobbs Barrow is there. Don't tell any grown-ups I told you. And thanks for getting Myrtle back. My pleasure. Thank you, Jane. You've been a great help. Mr. Bryden's farm. I don't know Mr. Bryden, right? We haven't met Mr. Bryden, as far as I know. All right, let's, uh, let's see your to-do list. Explore Bewley. Find Mr. Bryden's, Mr. Bryden's farm. As I trudged through the barren moors, with only the odd sheep for company, 
I reflected upon my visit to Bewley thus far. The enigmatic Mr. Shoulder and his puzzling disappearance. That's troubling. The townsfolk of Bewley, who had made it as difficult as they could for me to find Hobbs Barrow. The suspicion, the wariness in their eyes. Only now I know it was actually fear. Uh, that's what I imagine. I mean, uh, as I remember, she started the game with like writing a letter to her mother. But I'm going to visit her father in the in the hospital. But uh, then uh, this is actually before that. So. Let's see. In the end, it was the innocence of a child, young Jane, that condemned me to my fate. Okay. The gate opens out into a vast tilled field. The empty bucket smells of rancid milk. Easy girl. I'm not fond of goats at the best of times, but this one seems particularly disagreeable. And that's going to be a problem too. The entrance to the farmhouse. What do you want? My name is Thomasina Bateman. Mr. Bryden, I presume. Aye. What do you want, lass? I understand Hobbs Barrow is located on your land. Oh, well, yes. Why do you ask? I am an antiquarian, Mr. Bryden. I'm writing a volume on the Barrows of England. Oh, I suppose you'll be wanting to dig about it. If at all possible, Mr. Bryden. I was invited to Bewley by Mr. Leonard Shoulder, who told me such an excavation would be possible. Leonard Shoulder? Ha! I haven't seen him in years. What? The last I heard he were on death's door. There's to be no more digging there, lass. Not since it went so badly last time. Last time? Was there a previous excavation of Hobbs Barrow? Aye. My brother dug it up. Must have been, what, 25 years ago? You see, whatever he found inside, well... It drove him mad. Oh? Aye. I moved back here to look after him. Poor bastard hanged himself not long after. I... I'm sorry, Mr. Bryden. That's terrible. Aye. Time passes, but it were an awful thing. Oh. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Bryden. I live here with my wife. I might be long in tooth, but I can still run this farm without too much help. What did your brother find? Samuel. Samuel were his name. Sorry, what did Samuel find in the barrow? I don't know, but something went wrong. Afterwards, he could barely speak. You couldn't make out a word like... That must have been hard. He lost a hand in that excavation too, you know. Goodness me, how? I try hard not to speculate on what might have happened last. I'd see him disappear into that barrow, dragging timber in with him. You'd hear him hammering away for hours. I offered him help, but... He'd had none of it. Soon enough, he blocked the entrance off. To look at it now, you'd never know the thing were dug up. The land has reclaimed it. Who else was involved in the excavation? Two others, I believe. Outsiders, perhaps. I can't say for sure. I think they left town pretty swiftly afterwards. I lived in Bakewell at the time. I only moved back here to look after Samuel. I took over the farm when he passed away. I see. I'm going to bet that one of those outsiders was Thomasina's father. What can you tell me about your farm? Samuel's fair to side. We're a fortunate family. The soil is fertile here. Crops grow without too much trouble. All the other farmers around here raise livestock, even Lord Panswick. We grow feed for them. Most fortunate, Mr. Bryden. Is your wife home? She's out in the fields, lass. Pulling weeds. The curse of such fertile soil. 
Forty years we've been married. I couldn't do it without her, you see. How splendid. Aye, my wife is a fine woman. Are you married, lass? No, no. I've had my fair share of proposals, Mr. Bryden, but that's not the life for me. Marriage is an important institution. You'll find a man one day. Hmm. I manage rather well without one, Mr. Bryden. You haven't seen Mr. Shoulder for some time? I hear about him now and then, but it must be a good few years since I set eyes on him. He hasn't been here to visit Hobbs Barrow? Not to my knowledge. I heard he's beset by ailments. Don't leave his home often. Hmm. How odd. I Very assumed odd. he'd spoken to you about my visit. Not at all. What can you tell me of Lord Panswick? He keeps us going. Most of our crops go to feed his animals. What is he like? Oh, I've hardly laid eyes on him. He sends his workers here to pick up the crops. I see. That's quite an intimidating goat you own. <laughs> the old girl does a better job of protecting this farm than any hound would. <laughs> she still produces a lot of milk for us, so we forgive her temper. You say Mr. Shoulder is at death's door. What exactly ails him? I'm unsure. It's just what I've heard. I wouldn't want to speculate on matters that are not my business. Mr. Bryden, may I please have your permission to excavate Hobbs Barrow? No. Have you not been listening, lass? Samuel found something in there that's best left to rot. No digging here, lass. As you wish, I'm afraid I won't take no for an answer, Mr. Bryden. Wouldn't you like to find out more about Samuel, what Samuel found in there? Wouldn't you like to find out more about what Samuel found in there? Perhaps. But Samuel boarded up that barrow for a reason. You don't want to tempt the same fate, lass. Perhaps, uh, perhaps I can at least see. Perhaps I can at least see Hobbs Barrow. Hmm. I suppose you've come a long way to be here, lass. All the way from London, Mr. Bryden. Hmm. Have you any proof of all you've told me? You wish to see proof of what, Mr. Bryden? I can't let any Tom, Dick, or Harry wander around my fields. What proof have you of your claims? Thanks for your time. Okay, Tell have the letter. Here is proof that Mr. Shoulder invited me to Bewley in order to excavate Hobbs Barrow. Leonard making bold promises, I see. Don't make me regret this, but yes, you can have a look at it. Thank you. Any road, once you've set your eyes on it, you won't be wanting outdo with it. The place gives one a queer feeling. So where can I find it? Through that gate to your left. Just head straight across the top to the field there. After ten minutes or so, you'll see Barra. Sit on a hill ahead. Thank you again, Mr. Bryden. I really do appreciate it. And I'm going to bet that you're going to regret this. Probably should have brought my umbrella. Perhaps I could take a closer look. A R. A R. I haven't a clue what that could be referring to. Finally, here it is. Hobbs Barrow. Indeed, a barrow of a most unusual rectangular form. I've not seen something like this since West Kennet Long Barrow. Yes, this shall make a fine entry for my book. What secrets do you conceal, I wonder? That smell, earthy and sweet. Flashback time. Three, two, one. You can open your eyes now, Thomasina.
come. Are you ready for your first excavation? Yes, Daddy. Capital. Make sure you remember everything I've taught you. I have a feeling you might find something special. How exciting. I'll be watching from the steps, my little bird. Good luck. Thank you, Daddy. Okay. Daddy has buried something here. Daddy has buried something here. Thomas Cena, a true archaeologist, uses the tools of her trade. Do I have tools? Oh, Daddy there's told a tool. Me I should always carry a trowel on my excavations. Then take it. Now I'm ready. No treasures here. Nothing here. <laughs> Where's this yearling? Because is he naked? Daddy, I found the treasure. Look. Well done, little bird. Your first successful excavation. That urn you're holding is very old and precious. Take good care of it, all right? I will, Daddy. I promise. I do have a feeling there is something exceptional to be discovered here. I must gain Mr. Bryden's permission to excavate. In good time. Okay. Well... I do have a feeling there is something exceptional to be discovered here. I must gain Mr. Bryden's permission to excavate. Not sure how are we going to manage that, but... Darkness falls quickly here. I should make my way back to the inn. Indeed. Or maybe we could talk with him a bit? I don't think so. He's not going to change his mind. Right now. Oh, lady, the cake lady is gone. Oh, fuck. It's surely misty here. Colors is at home. Mr. Crozier is enjoying a large mug of ale. Good evening, Mr. Crozier. Evening. Thanks again for the fossil, lass. It is truly a beauty. You're most welcome. How long have you been collecting fossils? Ever since I were a boy. The moors look a barren place, but there are plenty of fossils to be found in the rock formations. 
All manner of creatures to uncover. Such a playground for a young lad. What's your favorite piece in your collection? The Ammonite you gave me today. The most recent is always the best. Indeed. What about you, lass? Do you collect out? I do. You see, I'm writing a book on the barrows of England. It shall be called Vestiges of the Antiquities in Rural England. I document all my findings. But what do you collect? Pottery, tools and such. Bones too, no doubt. No, I leave those in place. You've got a morbid heart, lass. Fussing about in old graves like that. We're not dissimilar in that we both take an interest in the remains of the long gone. I suppose you have a point there. How's your book coming along, then? Very well, thank you. Though I'm rather keen to begin my chapter on Hobbs Barrow. Thanks for your time. Aye. Speak to you later. Good Why evening, not, gentlemen. Yes. What are you going to do about him? If he thinks he can take her away from here, he's got another thing coming. I am going to knock his bloody block off. <laughs> In fact, I can think of a better punishment. Oh, what do you want, lady? Piss off. You heard the man. Charming. Yeah, charming. A fearsome looking brute of a man. He's engaged in a bout of pin finger. Such a brutal hobby. Good evening, sir. Uh, I'll leave you to it. Yeah, let's leave him to it. Oh, this is the Herbert the cat. It's Herbert, the local stray. I don't wish to wake him up. And there is Cyril. Hello again, Cyril. You're still here. Did Mr. Long convince you of the virtues of uni station? What the hell do you think? Now bugger off and leave me to me drink. He seems even more wound up than usual. Good evening, Miss Bateman. Good evening, Stanley. I found Hobbs Barrow. Oh, remember what I said, Miss Bateman? There are stories connected to that place. Yes, yeah, stories you won't elaborate on, I might add. Don't worry about me, Stanley. I'm quite capable of warding off imagined fiends. I have no doubt, but please leave that place be. I've come this far. There's no turning back now. That's precisely what worries me. A mug of your finest ale, please. There we are. That's two pence on your account. Thank you. Goodbye. See you soon. Hmm, go to bed, I'm tired. Yeah, I don't think we can do anything else. Time for bed. Tomorrow I shall convince Mr. Bryden to allow me to begin my excavation. Miss Bear. How are you? Mr. Tiller. Can I buy you a drink? One one horde? Perhaps I can gain more information about Mr. Tillot. No time, Mr. Tillot, I should keep a clear head. Okay, let's one won't hurt. Excellent. Start with the I man. feel bad about what happened last night. I'm sorry I can't remember it. That's all right, Mr. Tillot. Alcohol can do all sorts of damage to one's memory. I was thinking that. Maybe if we had another drink tonight, I might remember what happened. I'm not sure that's logical. But worth trying? I don't need any further convincing. Take your seat, Miss Bateman. I shall return with the goods. To Leonard's shoulder. Wherever he may be. been meaning to ask you something. Yes? Why did Leonard Shoulder ask you to dig up Hobbs Barrow? Despite his disappearing act the previous evening, not to mention his questionable sobriety, I decided Mr. Tillett was to be my ally. I spoke again of Mr. Shoulder's letter. 
his proposed excavation and my status as an antiquarian and barrow digger. He was fascinated and quite excited at the prospect of meeting the soon-to-be author of a real-life book. You must find all manner of riches on your digs. Barrow digging is not all success, Mr. Tillett. Often I'll come across the likeliest of sites steeped in promise. We set to work with shovel and pick and all the other barrow opening paraphernalia you can imagine. Every stone carefully taken down, every shovel full of earth put dutifully through the sieve, and we find nothing. Or you may find a miserable remnant of animal bone or a shard of pottery hardly to be recognized from the peat in which it decayed. Sometimes it's as if some Neolithic humorist prepared an elaborate practical joke for your special benefit. It still sounds much more exciting than spending your day sitting in England's most remote railway station. Hmm. <sighs> yeah. Are you all right, Mr. Tillett? I've had another argument with Agnes. Your wife? Aye. She didn't want me coming to the plough tonight. Truth is, I've been drinking my life away since my mother passed. Oh, that's terrible. I'm sorry for your loss. You're kind, Miss Bateman. Thank you. It's been a year since the old girl left us. She had a horrible end, wasting away day by day. Consumption got her. She would know but bones by the end. I can't get the image out of my mind. She were everything to me. I'm so sorry. I apologize for going on, Miss Bateman. It's not appropriate. Don't worry, Mr. Tillett. I appreciate your openness. I used to love going for walks out my moor, my mother and I. Ever since I were a little one, she got a tear in her eye as she looked out upon it. She loved this land. I asked Mr. Crozier to build a bench, which we've erected at her favourite lookout spot on the moors. Margaret's Lookout, we called it. Aye. That's a beautiful tribute. Aye. If you take a seat there, do keep her in your thoughts, won't you? Of course, Mr. Tillett. I can relate in some manner. My father had an accident when I was very young. He's still alive, but he can neither move nor speak. He spends his entire life bedbound and incapable of communicating or looking after himself in any way. How dreadful. He was a barrow digger himself, an antiquarian of some renown. He taught me so much, even though I was so young. I think writing this book is my way of carrying on his work. It helps me reclaim those earlier memories of him and I visit him often to tell him all about my excavations. Can he hear you? I've no idea. The doctors aren't sure. I do anything to make him better, Mr. Tillett. I do anything to bring him back to the man he was. I am in a state of suspended mourning for a man caught between life and death. That dreadful. sucks. Just dreadful. We all have our weaknesses. Mine just happens to be my father. And what of your mother? A cold woman. We haven't talked in quite some time. I think she blamed me for my father's accident somehow. You were but a child. Indeed. She thus saw it fit that a governess should raise me as she spent her life grieving for my father. Well then, I propose a toast. A toast to what? A shared sense of loss. I'll toast to that, Arthur. Now then, enough of this wallowing. Let us be merry. Another round. I really shouldn't. But I did. And another after that. And another. Oh. The frustrations of my visit to Bewley slipped away with each swill of Stanley's finest ale. We had great fun that night, Mr. Tillett and I. I treasure the memory. Go on, then. Let's hear those pipes. I mustn't. Sing the song. You're incorrigible. Please. You'll make a sad man happy. Oh, all right then. Okay, this will be fun. Clasps, Celts, and arrowheads I'll try to claw within my clutch. And if a shield I should espy. I'll vow there ne'er was such. With popish tricks and relics rare, the priests their flocks do gull. In casting out the earth, take care. Huzzah! I've found a skull. Okay. Let's all 
second night here. Oh, is she dreaming about the Hobbs Barrow? Oh. Oh, who is that? Thomasina. What is this? H who are you? I'm the one that saved your father. What do you mean? You were here 25 years ago. My father? You were deep down with the others. You were there when something went wrong. I dragged him out. Impossible. I helped him then, and I can help him again. I, I don't understand. Believe my words. You'll find proof in morning. Now go. What? Okay. Mister. One more thing. Deepens. This is not a dream. Second day. XP score. This is not a dream. Oh, shit. Goodness, that was a terrible sleep. Okay, uh, well, uh, let's wrap the video right here. It's a good point. Uh, just at the start of the second day of Thomasina in uh, Beulay. Uh, we already found Hobbs Barrow. We need to find a way to get permission to excavate. So let's leave it uh, here. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. And if you are still here, I suppose you like the video. So remember to smash that like button down there and consider subscribing to the channel. I upload a wide variety of uh, genres of video games and even uh, tabletop role playing games. So uh, there will be something here for you surely. And uh, well, that's it for now. Thank you again for watching, and I will be seeing you in the next video. Bye bye.